Hello everyone, this is Sandy. Today I would like to share our 3D positioning mass machine. First of all, the speed is 120 to 150 pieces per minute and uh, it adopts five pieces of Shinji solar motors and two pieces of ultrasonics. First of all, I would like to show you our finished mass sample. It's our customization version for National Day. And we can see here have some lines and you can customize logo as well. So here is another type. It's a black. We also can do black color mask. So that's all for the mask sample introduction. Next, we will go to our machine introduction. So let's take our machine from the whole appearance. And uh, I will start my introduction from this area. We can see here have total five rows material here. And three, this one is for pattern layers. And this is our melt bloom layers. And this is non-woven fabric layers. And for these two is for the ear loop layers and it's the white the west is different this those two are 120 millimeters and this melt blown fabric weighs 175 millimeters this pattern fabric layer with 195 millimeters and this as well 195 millimeters So uh, if you want to install a gear shaft, we recommend you use three, use, uses three pieces of these three rows. We can find here have a fabric character, which is for the pattern fabric layer. A, a, when you do the pattern, mask you have you must have to use one of the fabric characters that if you want to add two more it's okay we can support this is mainly to make sure the fabric will not go to left and to right to make sure this point can strictly be detected by next step. So here, these two rollers, the first roller is our embossing printing, which can print the lines and the, the characters we can see here, here, and here. And if you want to do logo, we can change as well and the lines as well. So here is our mass boot uses an ultrasonic with 15k 2600 watt and this roller is mainly to get the fabric forward is to support the fabric. Comes to here we can see here have a sensor. This sensor is different. We use Tesolic sensors, which is five times expensive than other sensors. It cannot, uh, it cannot only detect the wet dot. It also can detect the red dot, black dot. You just need to switch this sensor only. So it's very, very convenient for customer. And uh, for this part, is our body part. It's mainly to fold the fabric in half. And we, and this part, we have to make sure the lines strictly follow the point. This is the support the fabric go forward as well. But here, 
we can see the triangle heart is meant to support the fabric like this to go this way. So that means the fabric has turned a direction to go from here. This triangle is what is support the fabric. And for this handrail, it's many to adjust this part, this part, the part. And the next, we can see this is our second. They, uh, this is for each ceiling. Is with is it uses an ultrasonic with fifteen k two thousand six hundred watt as well. It's meant to seal the fabric together. Oh, yeah. And we can see here it has uh, another sensor. It's many to. It's the same function as the one there. So it's to detect the fabric dot, this point, as well. And this is the gut roller. This this is the mass parter. It's many to cut the. Access each of the mass. And here is the waste connection device. Then we can take the finished mass from here. Let's take a look at our screen. Here we can customized language for customer. We have uh, some buttons for specific function here. Yes. Yeah. Here we can see here have five pieces changes for motors. It's many to drive. We can see here. One is to drive the mass boot. Another one is to drive the edge ceiling. And the, the the third one is to drive the mass carter, and another two is mainly to drive the whole machine to run. And here has have two ultrasonics. So that's all for the introduction of the three D one piece mass. Introduction. See you next time.